Yeah, me too. Me too. I want to talk about one last thing. Maybe it might be last thing. I don't know. We'll see where it goes. But I said in that video where um, I showed uh, me in Langer, I said I wanted to take Brahmanism out of Sikhi. And so people on the comments uh, got up in arms like, oh, what do you mean Brahmanism? And what do you mean this? And what are you like anti-Hindu? Anti I'm like, what? I mean, dude, just research Brahmanism before you get before you start saying things. Of course, no one wants to read. But and the reason I said that, man, is because I see this. So let me let me let me um, say something here. I don't know if it's going to be good or bad, but whatever. Uh, I was at um my Masi's house and he, there was you know a newly amritari person there and i have my own beef with him whatever but it's all good uh we're civil we we talk whatever but it, it, it's it's different it's like we had a birthday whatever we cut cake they bought their own cake because it's eggless okay so now my wife is you know my wife is like helping out you know cutting cake and you know trying to give pieces to people whatever and I don't know. She's like, so it was something like, did you wash your hands and did you like use a different knife now and stuff? And I'm, all, and I'm, and I didn't say anything. It's my Masi's house, so I'm like, right, I don't say anything. Even you know, <laughs> if you know me, I would say something. But I'm like, all right, because I wanted to be like, cut your own damn cake, you know. But it, it's also like, okay, so that happened, right? And you go to like people that are Amritari and that are now vegetarian. This is like, what is this, a new cast? Like, that's what I feel. And that's the thing that's happening here that we're becoming any, it's any kind of like, what are you like higher than us? Like, because that's the thing that they're trying to show, you know? Uh, that's why I like when Tunda said one time that we start thinking that when a person comes over and we're like, Oh, oh, nee, 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 kanda, and my any karda and the amritaria. We start thinking he's so sophisticated and great and stuff when it's actually the opposite. And I was like, oh, I love Tunda when he said that. That was a great line. And that's what's happening. I feel like there's a little casteism going on. They're like, oh, we can't touch your knife. My wife can't touch. We're like, where did that come from, dude? Like, so this is this is. And by the way, this is what happens. This is when you start making these divides in in. in and these things and by the way food is every day people you go to any punjabi household they're eating every two hours something so food is a major part of people's lives so when this happens i'm like yo see this is what's happening this is the brahmanism i am talking about we are all one she didn't come from the bathroom she's working on other things but you're making it sound like she is not suchi yet and she's going to touch it with her dirty hands or whatever. And th so it's like, so this is the type of environment. These are the types of six. When they start doing these things, I get very triggered too. I'm like, yo, man, so now you guys are separate from us. You're better than us because that's what Brahmanism does. They're trying to control and they're trying to be the elitist. And now you're trying to think the same way. And this is a dangerous path. So um, what I'll say is that um in our community, exactly what you just said. There's a superiority complex that comes with being Amritari or whatever, right? Um, when we're, the, ironically, the job of the Khalsa was to be, um, like uh, Pai Gardas Ji says, talks about sex. He says, Pani chale navan anu. And he says that the job of water is to make hot things cold. And it might heat up a little bit while doing so, but then it immediately goes back to being cooled, right? And it says, That's the that's the Shabbat. Like, that's the very last line at the bottom of the Paigardasi Shabbat there. And he says, and the last line, as you probably know, is the central concept of Paigardasi. There's no Rahau Deband. So there's no Rahau component to it. But it's always the last line is the one where he's like smacking you across the head. Because like, that's what he's trying to get across to you. And so, it's ironic that sex have become, you know, Apari, when we're supposed to be low, Mataniva, uh, Matanimi, uh, or what was the Shabbat? Sorry, forgot. Matachi, there you go. Um, I I see it in people's Twitter bios all the time, but uh, never never understand uh, if they're applying that. But the thing is that as a community, we need to um, be self-critical. We need to be introspective. Um, about why we do some of these things. And the thing is, most, the most um, uncomfortable truth is, the people that we look up to, 
usually know that what they're doing is wrong. They usually know the function that this uppity behavior is coming from, but they would rather be treated special than to be special. Um, and that's the that's where the problem itself lies, in in my opinion. Um, and you know, people that first take Amrit, uh, I feel bad for them nowadays, um, quite honestly, because a lot of them um, are are put under such a microscope, and they feel like they have such a heavy burden on their shoulders to carry now that they're Amritari that every little thing they're like amrit na totje amrit na totje amrit like they think amrit is such a fragile thing and so um i think our community needs to start understanding the function of amrit again start understanding the the role of khalsa again um and i don't think we're doing a good job of that and that's an institutional conversation we still need to take that needs to take place but this is where I'll leave you off, Manpreet Singh, and I think this is a comment mainly towards you. And because I've also heard this from a lot of other people, that they get angry, they get outraged, they get these motions on, on the inside. And what I usually say is, do you want to change the world or do you want to feel better? But you can't have both. Because oftentimes, what will make you feel better is blowing up on these people and going home and, you know, La -di -da -di -da. Or are we willing to channel those emotions and be like, let's have a per let's use this opportunity in a critical way because there's a way of approaching these things, right? Like I said earlier, it's not that what you did was wrong; it's how you do it. Th there's a flavor there that needs to be addressed, and when we change the flavor. Uh, we get something out of it that's a little different. Uh, if you ever cooked, I don't know if you cook at all, uh, but uh, if you add things the wrong in the wrong order, uh, you end up with a <laughs> wrong food. Yeah, everything just tastes awful. Um, or if you stir it the wrong way, or so many variables. Um, I think we need to start being careful about our very, in our, uh, the variables in our society. Um, because we talk big. I said this last week too. We talk big, like about uh, caste. We talk big about you know we should LGBTQ X X Y Z. Um, but when it comes to applying it all, when it comes to application, uh, we fall short very very quickly. Because then suddenly caste does matter. We're like, yeah, we don't believe in caste. But just out of curiosity, so no other problem comes up, what's her caste? And it's like, wait, how, how does this make sense? So the conversation about even meat, it's like, we say it's, not, it's a non-issue. Like, even like my parents will say it's, not, it's a non-issue. And then that phrase is followed by, but don't eat it. And I'm like, how, how? then it is an issue. You can't, it, you can't have it both ways. And so... We need to be cognizant of um, how we deal with these things because we live in the age of spin, and a lot of us are falling victim of that spin spin culture as well. Like we would rather go through the path of least resistance than to go through the path of being truthful, being idealistic, and being virtuous while we're having uh, deliberative conversations.